Welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Javon Baker. Now, we know that wide receiver and O-line is a huge, huge piece of what we're missing in Baltimore, or necessarily what we need, and not what we're missing. And if we don't get receiver in round one, which I think we're potentially leaning toward O-line, we're going to be looking toward receiver in round two or three. I think here's a guy that could potentially be on our radar. Um, started at Alabama in 2020. Had 100 snaps, played in Alabama in 2021, also had 80 snaps. Transferred to UCF. Uh, that year had 813 snaps, and then last year had 703. Let's talk about his uh, production while at UCF as far as uh, receiving the football. Uh, 6'1", 208 pounds. Um, in his two years at Alabama, he only had nine catches for 116 yards and one touchdown. But... Transferring to UCF, took off. As a junior, had 100 targets, 56 catches, um, 796 yards and five touchdowns. And then last year, he only had 84 targets and 52 catches, but he had 1,139 yards and seven touchdowns. So his yards per catch went through the roof. It went from 14.2 to 21.9. And what you'll see in this tape is you see a guy that, not necessarily a burner, but he possesses all the traits to be a good receiver. He runs good routes. He um, high points the ball. He's a willing blocker. You'll see a number of those traits that a receiver can have an outstanding career and, and, and be a number one receiver for somebody's team, maybe in year three or four, once he learns the business of the NFL and how to manipulate, you know, DBs and things of that nature, but he had, he gets in and out of breaks well. He high points the ball. He catches with his hands. He doesn't waste a lot of movements. He can beat you with fade balls. He can beat you with regular routes. It's, I, I mean, he, he can do everything but just run really, really fast. And so I like Javon Baker, and let's kind of, you know, talk about his contested catch rate and his usage and stuff like that. So they use him, um, UCF used him in the slot and outside as far as this past year. In the slot, he was in the slot 27% of the time. He was out wide 72% of the time. Um, drops, he had six this year. So his drop percentage just for this year was 10.3. Contested catch rate was 50, what's that? 56.3%. He was 9 for 16 on contested catches, so that's another big number. But let's go ahead and transition to the film portion of this tape. And this is Javon Baker from uh, UCF. Again, started at Alabama, was a highly, rec highly recruited uh, kid, but now, you know, didn't work out at Alabama. You know, they don't like to throw it that much. They run, run, run until recently, but Saban's out of there now. And um, transferred to UCF last two years in the Gus Malzahn and probably really could have had a better – receiving numbers but uh his quarterback was a a runner also so he hasn't truly had like a thrower thrower of the football at quarterback yet and so we probably haven't seen the best of javon baker yet but let's transition to the film part so for this part of tony baker's film we have georgia tech which is the bowl game that ucf played in and versus oklahoma so we'll look, take a look at these two games and, and break them down. But before we get into that, uh, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these draft videos drop. Before the draft, we're about two weeks away. So you want to make sure you're here when all this content comes at you fast and furious. But let's get into Javon Baker, UCF wide receiver. He's at the bottom of your screen down here with the high socks. He's a high socks versus um, Georgia Tech, and we'll we'll identify him once we get to the Oklahoma game. Also, again, yeah, late hands. Always want a guy that can play with late hands. Cause if you throw these hands up early, for one, it slows him down. 
But two, it makes the defender, you know, turn to try to find the ball. And I, I love the hand fighting. I love the hand fighting, the late hands to go get the ball at the last second. Great effort. Let's look at it from the end zone view. Good ball tracker, too, because he's constantly, you know, hand fighting with the defender the entire time. Throws them hands up late and just kind of makes a little last little little dive right there at the end to go get it. And they see the defender just not looking for the ball. He's just not looking for the ball right there. And by this time, Javon Baker already has the ball in his hand for the touchdown. So great concentration also. Great concentration to go get it. Go to the next one. Again, high socks at the bottom of your screen. Catch the contested catch. Just high point the ball. Nothing real fancy about it. No, no, the release, plan plan off. Didn't just run. What I don't, what I do like about it. He even though he kind of worked his way to the sideline right there, he didn't just run straight to the sideline. He gave a little shoulder right there, a little elbow nudge to get that arm off of him so he couldn't push him to the sideline. So now he can straighten back up and stem up the field. So the DB can't just push him to the sideline and use that sideline as an extra defender. So even though he's kind of halfway between the numbers and the sideline, the quarterback still has room to fade him out. And look at that high point. Beautiful high point. High point the ball. Hands to the ball, go up and get it at its highest point. Turn your back to the defender to secure it. I love that part, this part right here. I'm going to turn my back to the defender so he can't stick his arms between my arms and rake it out and get both my feet down. That's one part of, of going up and get balls that a lot of young receivers don't, don't do. They, they love to go up and get it and kind of pose with it. And defenders just, they'll go up there and rake it out. So watch how he turns his back to the defender because now that rake's not an option. So not, like a lot of young cats, they'll pose right there and try to hold it there for maybe like a good pitcher or be like, oh, I'm lost you or whatever. But he needs to turn his back to him so the defender, because the play's not over right here. Because they're taught to stick that hand between them arms and rake it out. Love it. Love it. Getting high socks at the bottom. The RPO. Again, this ball is not thrown perfectly. But again, look at look at the range. Look at those long arms. Look at those elastic arms. Ball's thrown behind him. He goes and get it. The DB thinks he has a, a PBU. Nope. Mm -mm. Sometimes you got to make your quarterback look good. If you're a good receiver, you got to make your quarterback look good sometimes. Ball ain't gonna always be perfect. Look at that. Look how far behind that is. So go, go, gadget arms. Whip that thing in. First down. You just gotta, sometimes you just gotta do it. Quarterback's not perfect. You're not gonna always get a perfect ball, but if you're a good receiver, it don't matter. Put it in my area, it's called catch radius. Put it in my area, I'm gonna go get it. You can't really see it that well on this view. The better view was this one right here. Right there. How far behind him that is. And low. It's low and behind. He goes and gets it. The top of your screen here. Now, he don't catch this ball, but I like it because they're doubling him. He runs a double move on him. You got the slant. I'm going to split y'all because you think I'm running the slant. Stick my foot in the ground. I'm going to get up field. And now watch the burst. Watch he just outrun both of these cats. Boom. Now, he don't get the ball, but I just like the fact that they're trying to double him. And he still beats the double team. He just didn't get a good enough ball to, to get it to him. High socks at the top. Yeah. 
Nah. Catch is made in traffic. Catch is made in traffic. Again, nothing crazy about the route. You know, they got a little, a lot of stuff, a lot of confusion going on with their route concept. And he's patient enough not to trip over this guy right here that's trying to cover the tight end. He gets a little push off right there, but, you know, kind of subtle. Nothing big. But now what I like about here is he comes back toward the quarterback. I love that. So his route breaks off right at the 20, but he catches his ball at the 18, which helps the quarterback out, which helps keep the um the separation that he got, you know, even if this was man or zone or whatever it is, but it helps the quarterback out when you come back down the line of scrimmage to, to help get the to help catch the ball. Now, with that being said, let's see what kind of yak he can do. Bye-bye. Make you miss. Bye-bye. Make you miss. So the ability is there, even though he ain't get too much minimal yards. He only got like one or two yards afterwards. But again, he's 6'2", 6'3". You, you, he don't move like he's 6'2", 6'3". That's, that's the key part of it. That's, that's kind of what I'm leading to. He don't, he don't necessarily move like that. See, watch this. Mm -mm. See, the big guys don't want to move like that. Like, Keon Coleman got a, a move on his uh, tape versus um, LSU when he caught a slant. You, you don't see big guys kind of move like that. And that. That's what makes them special. Willing blocker. A willing blocker. All throughout this tape, you, you, you see him, like, blocking for either other receivers on screens or... Or blocking for his running back down the field. He's a willing blocker. Top of your screen with the high socks. Concentration. I just like the concentration. He slipped on his route. Quarterback came to him anyway because it was a little hitch. Did He didn't panic. Didn't panic. Didn't panic. Concentrating on that ball. Scooped it off the turf. Well, scooped it before it got to the turf. Didn't panic. Defender all on him. He fell on the ground. Ball coming. Stayed focused. Caught the ball for jet, but it was just short of a first down. But still. Just short of a first down. But did not panic. Did not panic. I got the end zone view of it, but it don't really show much. The end zone view don't really show much. Watch. Because it's on his backside. Had it been from the other end zone, we might could have seen it better. But again, a lot of stuff could have went wrong right here. Him dropping it could have been one of the least things that would have went wrong. But he could have tried to catch it. He could have popped up. Could have been a pick six. A whole bunch of things could have went wrong. But he didn't panic. He caught that thing. And whatever the down the distance was, it's that and one now. Now they had to put a backup in. Um, not, I think quarterback got hurt or because they would lose, they lost this game. They lost this bowl game. This is just scramble drill. Seeing his quarterback scrambling in this direction. And this is Baker right here. He was running the end route. Quarterback scrambling that way. So let me go this direction too. Quarterback throws him a nice floater. He goes and gets it. Now it's off to the races. Now, again, this is where. This is the only draw from his game for me. He just, he's not a blazer. This is the only draw. But I, I'm, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it because he can do everything else in my opinion. He can do everything else in my opinion. The only draw is he just can't run no blazing 40 times. That's it. Everything else I think he got. Everything else. Routes, hands, effort. I, He's just not a blazer. And I think you can, I think you can be that. You can do that in the NFL. You don't have to be a blazer. And this is versus Oklahoma. Versus Oklahoma, he's he kind of looks like number two versus Oklahoma. Like this dude and this dude, they kind of look alike. But this is Baker down here. So I got, you know, I was kind of getting confused watching this one, but this is Baker at the bottom. And this is kind of like a scheme touchdown right here. 
but it's still a touchdown. A long one at that, 85 yards. At this point, it's 2v2. It's this safety and the quarterback and the cornerback and the running back, and they got to pick with their poison. Now, it looks like the quarter, quarterback's going to run, and for some reason, the cornerback thinks it's his obligation to tackle the quarterback, and Baker just keeps running. And it's easy touchdown. He gonna end up blowing Oklahoma a kiss, right there. Probably one of the easiest touchdowns he'll ever get. You get a little more route running right here. This is him at the bottom of your screen right here, down here. That's him right there. Get a little out route. Get a little, little uh -uh at the top of your route to kind of pause the DB. He don't really move him, but he pauses him enough that where he break, the DB going to give him some separation. What I would like for him to do on this one is, and I just gave him credit for it a minute ago, was to come back down this line, maybe push this thing right here and start of fading it that way. That helps the DB kind of stay on his hip, but his hands are so strong. In this case, it didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. And that's a, just what I just pointed out is just a little technical stuff. Like, it's nitpicky to the point. But a decent route. Decent route versus a good uh, defensive team, too. Because Oklahoma going to always be a good defensive team, especially with uh, their quarter, the better coach, I mean. Venerables, I have you say it. I can't. I'm hopeful I didn't butcher his last name. Used to be the DC at Clemson. And then we're gonna end it on this one right here. I thought I had more. Maybe I didn't let it load. I did have two more. We're not gonna end on this one. We got two more. Okay, I got to figure it out. So this play right here, I just like his release. And this is the play I released, I put on Twitter. He's at the bottom of your screen. Just his release package is, is, is crazy. He's not getting the ball right here, and he's off the line of scrimmage, but just watch how he just just get a DB fits right here. <laughs> DB don't know what's going on. <laughs> if, if he was the primary on that and got a good ball, that's a touchdown all day long. Like he just, just giving fits. Jump inside, the DB jump inside. He jumped back outside. The DB can't put a hand on him. So now he even. So you know what happens when we even. He leaving. If this, if he was the primary on this, this touchdown all day. Because look where the safety, the safeties are locked in on this slot receiver. If if, if Pumley was was throwing this ball, a fade ball to, to Baker, this is a touchdown all day long if it's a good ball. Because at this point, the DB is in old snap land. <laughs> like, too bad. So sad. And you and if you watch it, the tape, even on the balls that he like he don't get, he just be killing the DBs off the line of scrimmage. This is him at the bottom of your screen. I just want to show like his ball skills right here. They're trying to get him in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, matchup versus the uh, Oklahoma DB. They're gonna send 13 in motion. The safety and the linebacker goes. So like, okay, we got one-on-one -on -one over here. Jump ball. One hand. Now, he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds barely. He's barely. His, like his foot lands on the out of bounds line. But the fact that he, he goes up and gets this thing is, I had to put it on here. I had to. And I really don't think that second hand ever even goes on the ball. Let's see if we can pause it. So both of them going up to get it. Oh, he got both hands on it. But he takes the other hand off. Let me back it up just a little bit. See where he lands at? So he definitely's out of, he definitely out of bounds. But that's that's a great catch. Great catch. 
just, you know, shoe size about three sizes too big. <laughs> He's definitely out of bounds, though, but a hell of a catch. Hell of a catch. Hands, man. Hands. And we'll end it on this one. This is the same drive two plays later. Uh, they realized that they couldn't guard him, and they was trying to play man, so they ended up, he ended up with a linebacker and a safety on him, and they just ran him across the field. And he just outran everybody. But I really, really like this dude. Like, if, if you can't get a receiver in the first round and he's there in second, and, and Lord forbid the third, you better jump all over him. You better jump all over him. I think he's the complete receiver. Only thing he's missing is just he can't flat out fly. But everything else he can do. And I think year two or three, he's going to take somebody's job and be an NFL receiver for a long time unless he just do something crazy off the field. So this is Javon Baker, UCF receiver. Um, started at Alabama, finished at UCF. And this is Coach Evans with Tip the Tally Films. I appreciate you for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Join the Patreon at patreon.com backslash Tip the Tally. Uh, we got four tiers over there. So I appreciate everybody for coming. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love.